Michigan is on worry alert because the NCAA has come around. The NCAA is going to start asking questions when it comes to Michigan, the sign-stealing allegations, Jim Harbaugh, Connor Stallions, why you've got coaches being fired, and what just happened in Ann Arbor, and does that coincide with your newfound resurgence on the football field? And I know that there are Michigan fans who will contend that they've done nothing wrong. We'll talk about that in a little bit. And I know that the average Ohio State fan will tell you that it's the biggest cheating scandal in college football history. And I think I'm probably somewhere in between. Maybe not. I mean, and th there's those are pretty wide gaps to, to find yourself falling into. But here's how I think Michigan should respond to the NCAA. Tell them to eat your shorts. Pound sand. Go bleep yourself. Give them the dull bird. Whatever insinuates. You're not, you're not going to get any help from me. Why would I help you? Why would I participate in your investigation? The precedent's been set. Somebody's already done this. North Carolina, when they had essentially fake classes at their university, and the NCAA says, we're going to investigate this. North Carolina said, best of luck. Congratulations. Wish you all the best in your future endeavors because you're not getting anything from us. And you know what happened to them? Nothing. They had fake classes for their college students to go to, your college athletes to go to where they would then have tutors, et cetera. And, and believe me, this is overly oversimplified. I don't have an hour to sit here and go through the entire dining. So if there's a North Carolina fan watch, like, that's not what happened. Yeah, it is. <laughs> they had people write their papers for them, et cetera. They had the professors in the tank for the athletic department. They, it was this whole thing. And you know what they got for it? Nothing. Not a damn thing. And if that's what's going to happen when you don't participate in the NCAA investigation, when you just say, like, I think you're a toothless organization and you don't have the ability to do jack squat to me if I don't help you out, what incentive is there to help them out? So that's the, that is the avenue that Michigan should take. When the NCAA says, hey, we'd like the access to drink, not getting them. Make the NCAA sue you. Make them do a Freedom of Information Act. Make them work their ass off to try to nail you. Don't participate in the investigations. Don't do interviews. Don't give them the evidence that they request from you. Whatever. Because the options are the NCAA says, ah, you know what? This is really They're making this really hard. Is this worth it? And when you start asking yourself, is this worth it? If you have to ask that question, you've probably got your answer. Or the NCAA works their ass off. And then you have the perfect leverage to look at everybody else in America and every other power four program, blue blood college athletic department in America and say, look what is happening to us. Do you want this to happen to you? This is why we should split off and form our own group. This is why we should abandon the NCAA. This is why we need to get out from under their oppressive thumb. Michigan has all the leverage in this situation. And while that sucks, because it certainly appears as if they have acted improperly, they have done things incorrectly. While that sucks that they're, I, I, the second that they get, I saw yesterday the, the circulate. Oh, they're going to get a postseason ban, maybe two years. The second that happens, I'll believe it, and not one second before. Because I don't believe that the NCAA has the evidence needed to link up Jim Harbaugh or someone inside the Michigan football program with Connor Stallions, with payment etc. Because I, I see this argument that even accepting the information from Connor Stallions is improper and incorrect. I don't think that's true. For instance, Ohio State had a, a tight end named Cade Stover, and every time Cade Stover lined up as a wing, if he put his hand on the right or left tackle's hip that he was lined up behind, they were about to run the football. 
every time. If they weren't, if he didn't put that hand up there, they were throwing it. If he puts his hand up there, they were running it. If I sent that information to Ryan Day or I sent that information to somebody in the Ohio State Athletic Department, Ohio State football program, a coach, and said, hey, you've got to tell, and everybody in America can now see it. If if I notice it from just sitting there watching Joel and Gus, your opponents know it, so you need to fix it. They haven't done anything wrong. There's nothing wrong with accepting outside information. There's nothing wrong with Connor. I mean, Lee, like morally, yes, for Michigan to accept the information from Connor Stallions. There's nothing morally wrong with that. Ethically, probably there are ethics problems there. But if Michigan is paying Connor Stallions, Jim Harbaugh's cutting him checks to pay for his travel, food, hotels, et cetera, tickets, so he can tape the opposing team sideline, that's an issue. And I think you could then go on to the idea of like, hey, maybe having the guy stand next to your defensive coordinator and you can see the cameras watch him say, run right. When Ohio State then runs to the right, then yeah, that that, that opens up a bigger can of worms. But I, I think unless you can flat out prove that like Michigan was paying for this, Michigan bankrolled Connor Stallions, I don't think you have a super strong case for vacating their wins and taking down their banners. Like, I just don't see that happening. So I think Michigan should give the double birds to the NCAA. Just like, hey, nah, sorry, I'm not participating in this. You're going to have to do your own work. You're going to have to find your own stuff. I'm not giving evidence to you. I'm not doing interviews. I'm not giving you evidence. You're not coming on our campus, whatever the case may be. Just <laughs> give them the old D-Generation X crotch chop. Tell them to suck it because that's, that's, that's the level of – involvement that you're getting from us but i don't think they can do that uh, they can do that i don't know that they will and this is the interesting part because michigan has built their brand in the idea of being a michigan man under the guise of character and integrity and if you've got character and integrity, the second you start getting investigated for wrongdoing, you can't turn your nose up against that and say, I'm not helping you. I'm not like, because that, that's the antithesis of being a high character individual or a high character program, high character institute of higher learning. It, it's the exact opposite of what integrity is. And so I don't know how you can put two and two together of we are holier than thou. We're better than you because we do things the right way. And also when somebody is investigating you to figure out if you've done something wrong and your immediate reaction is get bent weirdo. You can't, you, you can't equate those two things. And so when your options are, we can do the right thing. We can participate in an investigation, an active investigation into whether or not we were a part of the largest cheating scandal in college football history. Or you can t tell in NCAA investigators to pound sand because that's the level of involvement you're going to provide. You no longer get to play the holier-than-thou card. You no longer get to play the, like, everybody else does things incorrectly, does things the easy way. We don't skip steps to greatness at Michigan. We do things the high-character, integrity way. You don't get to play that card anymore. Ever again. <laughs> no matter what. Even if it's the, whether it's the athletic director, whether it's the president, head football coach, whoever it is that makes a decision of, we're not helping them. That that goes on your permanent record. People don't forget. So you can argue that we're still the program that does things the right way. But if you don't do things the right way, if you don't act with integrity, with high character, and you can already argue that you haven't acted with integrity and with high character and with outstanding moral values, you don't have to come back and later say, well, you know, at Michigan, we take academics seriously. We take this and that seriously, while everybody else is the ones that are dishing out free cars and NIL money to players. We do things the right way.
You don't get to play that card anymore. You just don't have it in your pocket. So I think that's how Michigan should operate. They should say, I'm not helping you, but I don't know that they can. And that makes for a really interesting dichotomy now, doesn't it? That'll do it for today's episode of the Daily Huddle. Appreciate you making us a part of your day, however it is, wherever it is you're doing. So if you're watching here on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you're getting all the great college football content we're pumping out. Give a thumbs up to the video. Uh, it helps to get in front of more college football fans and more college football fans is always a good thing. Catch you tomorrow for another episode of the Daily Huddle.